Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the week of March 13th through the 19th. This is St. Patrick's Day week, so of course I'm going to be using some green. Um, the, the, there are lots of themes that have to do with St. Patrick's Day. Um, this one in particular is Go Green, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I went through some of my green stickers just looking for something I had never used before. And in the Rainbow, Live Love Posh Rainbow set, um, I found these with the house plants that I have never used before. So we are going to go with these. I also grabbed a Kaiser Craft sticker book that has, um, it's kind of a jungle theme. Which, if you look at the leaves, there are monstera leaves which match. I thought this stripey plant um, kind of looked like it matched. So uh, I thought it would be good to go ahead and pair these two books together. So, and then I also pulled some um, narrative hues overlay tapes. These are some oopses. I thought the different browns in this one would look nice for highlighting words. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is look in my Kaiser Craft sticker book for like a weekend banner and um, positive word and feeling and maybe a couple quotes for across the bottom so you can see how well these match. They match pretty well the golds in here. I'm not gonna I'm gonna try not to get too much into the jungle theme but um, here we go. This green definitely ma matches. Here are some functional words um, that I can use. There was, uh, there's more functional words. Don't forget, must do. Ooh, I like, you know what? I like must do for keto. Let's grab that one. So what I do is I just, I like to put um, words in when I can. Otherwise, my gosh, I will never use up all these stickers. So on this one, this is the printable from Baker Lane Studio. This matches the Breathe, original Breathe Wellness and Fitness Planner. Um, and I love it because um, uh, it's got most, a lot of the stuff that I used to have to put on every week is already there. So that's really awesome. Um, I have a link in the description box for Baker Lane Studio. If you sign up for her no spam newsletter, you will get a coupon code for, for purchasing something like this, dated or undated. Ooh, life is better when you're laughing. I like that. So I like to put quotes across the bottom um, in this particular planner. Every day is a fresh start. That's another good one. So I'm just looking to see which one is longer. We'll put the longer one on the right side. Oops. Because, ooh, there we go. That, that jumped right out. It wants to be my positive word, the word perfect. I know I've been using that a lot lately for my positive word, but I'm loving it. So, so three columns here, four columns here. I'm going to put the longer one under the four columns. Just kind of eyeball it as far as centering. And then we'll put the slightly shorter one over here. All right, let's look for a feeling and maybe something as a weekend banner. Ooh, I like dream, explore, discover. I feel like that kind of fits with um, like the, the jungle theme kind of, if that makes any sense. So let's just kind of center this across Saturday and Sunday. I don't know why that one just kind of, I guess it was the word dream that kind of snagged my attention. And then let's look for feeling. Feeling happy. How about that? Okay, so that's the main thing I wanted out of this book was the functional stuff. I can look for, I do a sticker up here for weigh-in, um, weigh-in once a week. So I could go ahead and let's throw one of these on. Um, and then we can jazz it up a little bit with an accent sticker. But that just gives me a space to write in my weigh-in information. Like I could put a heart on there. Um, how about this gold? I could put this gold noted on there. That works. Okay. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on the days of the week. These are just four different browns. These are terracotta. 
um, and they do they are considered overlay tapes so the days of the week will show through them except I want that foil always my foil on top because otherwise the see-through kind of dulls it down again these are from narrative hughes formerly girl boss anna this is the terracotta collection i didn't have a good one that had greens but i thought these browns really went well with the browns in the stickers so i'm going to put these over the days of the week and i'm going to put them let's see do i want to i don't think i want to put them over the journaling prompts because yeah, they'll fit. I was going to say some of them are too long for these to completely cover, but actually I think they'll be fine. Some of them are a little dark, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and use these on the currently prompts over here. So I already picked positive word. I already picked perfect, not perfectionist, but just perfect, like a perfect day or something. Reading, I am reading the Megan Quinn books I just started. Um, I finished the Dating by the Numbers series. I just started the Vancouver Agitated series. Agitator series. It's a hockey series. Yesterday I took the day off and I read one entire book in the day. Um, listening to Jazz in the Background of course. I did link my Goodreads profile in the description box so if you want to um, follow me there you'll be able to see the exact books that I'm reading. And then watching, we have been watching the very last few episodes of Better Call Saul and we're struggling because when it went into the black and white and switched to the mall stuff, we just thought that was kind of silly. So we're a little bit bummed and we're struggling to go ahead and finish it, but that's what we're watching. Okay, so oh, should I try to cover memory of the week? Let's try to cover memory of the week. Why not? Good enough. Okay, so I pulled these um, to work as my workout boxes. I am happy to say I finally, finally got back on the exercise bike. So I have actually stuff to write there. Um, so we're going to go with that. So the center section is food diary. Nothing specific, just kind of a high level. What did I eat? Um, and then workout boxes and then hydration is already there. I just fill that out with a like a mild liner. So what I'm going to do is use, I just do four boxes on my food diary or four entries, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. And um, if I use, I, since the um, hydration is already printed on there, since hydration is already printed on there, I, I, I need to trim my little checklists. So one of the tricks I like to do is a four bullet point checklist. Um, and if I cut one bullet point off of this then it makes it short enough to work with the hydration stickers so looks like every other day workout i am tuesday thursday saturday so um i have already sped this up i'm just going to put all that stuff on there and i'll be back perfect okay so then all that's left is a uh, decoration and maybe a quote so let's go ahead and look at our plants. I think some of them are a little bit tall. Like this one is going to be way too tall to go on there. This one definitely will work. Let's, and I, like I said, I like the tiger stripe of it. So let's grab it. Oh, and there went my page. Um, I kind of like these ones that are super, super tall, or I mean that have like a side to them, like this one. Let's put this one on the side. I love these houseplants. They're so pretty. And I definitely feel like bringing green, bringing houseplants into your house is definitely a way to quote unquote go green. It could also be like recycling or Earth Day, that kind of stuff. Um, solar panels, you know, that kind of thing, composting. But I'm choosing to interpret this more like greenery, go green. Oh. Let's put that there out of the way. Let's put another side plant on here. This one on this side. Okay. And then we have, we have this shorter one for this side, which works because it's got the weekend banner up there. And so I kind of need a shorter one there. 
I still have this guy that needs to go somewhere. Should I put it here? It's not a side one, but... This is the only side one I have left. And it's going to cover up a lot of Thursday, but you know what? Um, I kind of don't care because obviously I know what day of the week, <laughs> what day of the week it is. So let's, yeah, let's just do it. It's a bigger sticker, so, which is okay because this is the side with four columns instead of three. So it needs more. Um, the only thing I'm, I'm actually thinking that maybe I don't want to use this one. Um, where did it come from? Right here. Need my glasses. Can't see what I'm doing. So for this side, I could put a third plant in the middle and put another word over here. Um, cause that's the only thing that's missing now is some quotes. Let's see. Never stop exploring. Did I put that somewhere? No, but I think it goes with that. Never stop exploring. And that can be literal, like traveling. That can be metaphorical, like exploring new stickers, new, new uh, design aesthetics, new color palettes. You know what I mean? Never stop exploring. Um, I feel like either one of these can go there. Let's look at the plants themselves and see if there's any repetition. That's kind of, no, no, they are both monstera leaves. So I think as long as I put one on either side, I'll be okay. Um, I think I'm going to use this one and let me explain why. So I want to set it on the sticker like the sticker is the floor. These are at two different heights, so that makes that kind of difficult. So we'll put this one over here, because I can just kind of set that one on there. Okay, and then if I put this one over here, it's okay. I just want to center it. It's okay if it sits a little crooked. I might just leave it like that, you know, I mean, as far as the top goes. Um, I was thinking it could be fun to put a couple plants down here. Um, and I can even cut them in half to make them skinnier. So, like for example, this one. If we cut this, take my super long scissors so I can get it all in one slice line things up and just do one quick clean decisive slice i'm much more likely to get a nice straight line that way and so what i can do then is i've been slacking again on my journaling i admit it i just i've been wanting to read not write <laughs> so i haven't been filling them out but that's okay. I mean, if I'm getting my fulfillment and my happiness from reading, then that's okay. You know, if I need it, it's there, but I'm not going to do it if it doesn't make me happy, you know? So, all right. So there's that side. Let's do the same thing over here. Let's do it with this little smaller one. Since the side is smaller and got more stuff going on. And actually, you know what? I don't, I don't like the way that looks cut in half. So let's actually put it back together. Because I wasn't thinking about the fact that there's not really a straight line, anything to stick this up against, you know? So it makes sense to be cut in half. And then, do I want something here? I don't think I do. I think that's okay. So, well, I did the same thing there, but anyway. Um, let's just make sure there's nothing else we want maybe in this from this Kaiser Craft sticker book. Like I could put a circle on there. Let's explore. These stickers go well together. 
my gosh, I can't read that. If size mattered, the elephant would be the king of the jungle. Animal kingdom, wild about you, let's explore, just for you. The world is a jungle. I kind of feel like it, though if I put a circle here, it it's going to throw the balance off. So maybe we'll just leave it with the white space it's got. Only other thing is I could put a little something here to balance with that. And a tiny little circle might work or a heart. I could put a gold heart down there. This is going to be a quick video. I like that though. I like it when things come together so beautifully and quickly. I could put one of these down there. You know what? I think I'm just going to put a gold heart down there. And call that enough. There. Just for a little balance. The gold kind of feels like it's in the same realm as the brown of the flower pots. So there we go. There is my Go Green spread in my Wellness and Fitness Planner. Go green interpretation is bringing lots of plants into your house. So there we go. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to give wellness and fitness planning a try. If you need it, it's there, but don't feel obligated to fill it all out. Um, I hate when people force themselves to use something so it doesn't go to waste. Um, and then they end up uh, falling out of love. And so just use it when you need it. Uh, um, if you do like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, dropping me a comment or a smiley face. All those interactions with my videos help me with the YouTube algorithm and are a great way to support me. Thank you.